Okay, today we're going to look at this used Molly oil filter, number OC479. And I got this used oil filter from a viewer whose name is John Rosine from Henderson, Nevada. Thanks, John. This oil filter was in service for seven months, 5,403 miles, and it came off of John's 2009 Saab 9.5 Griffin. Yep, the one with the 2.3 liter turbocharged engine. John was using Mobile One full synthetic European 5W40 oil during this period. Let's open up this Molly oil filter and see how it did. So let's get started. This is some oil. You gotta pull the silicone, be nice and tight. Get your inner here. Filtration. Okay, so before we open this filter up, let's take a quick look at it. John marked it here, May 3rd, 2022. 90,062 miles. That's probably what he had when he installed this oil filter. Made in Austria. And this filter it has a unique uh, date code. You have to use one of these UV lights on it. So, and it's hard to read this anyways because it's scratched up. I'm going to put the numbers right up there on the screen because I, I can't even read it through the camera. The number is 305211. 529-0720. It has six inlet holes. It's got about four grooves there for threads. And this looks to be a nitro rubber gasket. Put that to the side for now. And let's cut this filter open. Okay. Alright, let's look at the base plate. Here's the click like a nitro over NJ back valve. A little stiff. There. Like that. Yeah. They look like it'd be doing okay. Filter element. Let me push this to the side. Okay, this is a unique filter. I'll put the number of pleats on the screen. This looks like the seam right here. <laughs> They're actually making a little noise. We got metal end caps, bypass valve right here. And this filter actually has almost like two bypass valves right here too. You'll see it when it's opened up. And actually I'll put a little clip on the screen right now how this filter works it's an animated clip it's only a 10 second clip I couldn't find any information about this filter media but last time I opened up one of these a viewer put in the comment section somebody on Bob is the oil guy emailed Molly they said it was a synthetic filter media and they got the micron writing I'll put it up on the screen and I'm just going to call this filter Molly. I don't know, it's, it's pronounced male, Molly, whatever. <laughs> and so we got the coil spring. Big coil spring. The can. This is the other one that overspray too. I think that's overspray. Yeah, that's all overspray in there. I don't see no sludging or nothing though. So that looks okay. Let's get some measurements. Yeah, 0 0.5, 0 0.55 millimeters. Yeah. And let's get the width. 3. 3.28 inches wide. Okay, this is an interesting filter. All right, so let's uh, cut this filter open, squeeze it out, stretch it out, and I'll be right back. Okay, here's the filter all stretched out. And this filter is 60 inches long.
Okay, let's get the thickness on this filter media. 0.98 millimeters thick. That's pretty good thickness. And here's the filtering side, back side, side view. And let's take a look at this under a microscope. So as you can tell, the filter on the outside really, on the surface, doesn't really have much dirt or soot or anything. But it's pretty dark, so it caught a lot of stuff. And let's look at it up close. You, know, you can see it's pretty pretty clean. It's got a little soot on it, on the creases. You know, in between the seams. It's got a couple sparklies. Let's try this one right here. It's not magnetic. Not magnetic. But otherwise, it's really clean. Over there. Oh. A couple over here. Let's just check them out. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, well, there's a couple. See, they're not magnetic, so it's not from the, it's not from me cutting the filter open. Let's look at the rest of the filter. So yeah, if it was me, see, this is magnetic. That's magnetic. So it's not from me cutting it open. Anyways, got a nice spring, gasket. You can tell this is a side that was against the block. That all held up nice. And actually the nitro rubber any drain back valve held up held up good too. Nice base plate on this one. It's got a lot of threads. Yeah, it's that all looks really good. And it's core. This core is pretty cool. I'll show you guys this. Well, you got these holes. These are all nice and smooth. Well, you got the bypass valve down here. Let me put that like that, yeah. Which is pretty hard to push. But then, when your filter, your uh, oil goes through your filter media, then it goes through these holes, and it goes up here, it's got to go through this one. But this one goes nice and easy. And that's how your oil comes out. Why they have this, I don't know. Most filters just got a straight hole here and it just comes right out. Now you can see the spring in there. Let me push on it. See that? Strange. Strange design. So that's what it's like all together. <laughs> Why they got two there, I don't know. And the can, it's a nice can, nice and thick. See the oil's a little dark, but it's not sludgy or anything. And that's all over spray. So what do you guys think about this filter? And I want to thank John for sending me this oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching. And take care.